For five decades, the St. Ignatius Alumni Association has bestowed the Christ the King Award to one of its own. It is the highest honor the school gives to a graduate who has distinguished himself in his profession and who best exemplifies the ideal of service to God and fellow man. We have an alumni board that's made up of uh, 40 grads from across all eras and they represent the Alumni Association. The people will put forth names of folks that they think have been uh, above and beyond in both their careers and, uh, and for the community. The Christ the King is the most important event that we have. Uh, when we go to vote on it, the guys that are commissioners of it will say that this is the most important thing that the alumni board is charged with over the course of a school year. And on this day in 2017, which marks the 57th time the Christ the King has been awarded, we honor Jeff Colombini, St. Ignatius Class of 1979. Jeff and I grew up on the infamous Windsor Drive in, in Daly City and uh, spent a lot of time in each other's households, vacationed with the families, and have been best friends since the early grammar school days. I don't think there's any place on the planet that would have been better. Jeff was always into a little bit of everything. He knew everybody and he was always uh, pretty much the way you see him as an adult, always friendly and involved with everything that was on Windsor Drive. SI was a great place in 1979. I think throughout the 70s, I look back at the people that meant so much to me, the Bob Druckers, Jim Deckers, Brother Draper, so many people that played such a huge role in my life back then and, and looking back and now how young they were and how much we meant to them, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a great place to be. Jeff was in many ways the same Jeff he is now. He's exuberant, he's spirited, he loves to be around people, he's great in a group, he's fun to have in the classroom, he's fun to have at sporting events, he was a head cheerleader, um, that exemplifies him to a T back in that day and uh, we had a ball. I think what marked his stay at SI was just being involved. Obviously he was social, but he was involved with all the extracurriculars. It was more than just the classroom. He was just involved in getting every bit out of the school and his experience that he could. Jeff Colombini, quite frankly, just has one of those personalities that lights up the room like a 500 watt bulb. And he's happiest when those family and friends and coworkers around him are happy. I think that's what drives him more than anything. I met Jeff Colombini back in 2006 when I applied for the uh, alumni director job. Jeff and I had a, a great working relationship. Uh, it was probably more fun than work, but Jeff uh, encouraged a number of new programs. We traveled the country, we raised a lot of money. We were able to take the alumni association to a new level under his leadership. And uh, I, I enjoyed every minute of it. Jeff has given a life of service, both professionally in the fire department and um, non-professionally uh, here at St. Ignatius. He's very well respected within the fire department, has climbed the ranks, was handpicked for his job because of his hard work and professionalism. He is uh, well respected in all regards by both his family, friends, and co-workers. Jeff's done a phenomenal job for the San Francisco Fire Department. Uh, we came in about three months apart. Each and every day he comes to work, he gives it his all, wears his uniform with pride. Really impressed by his attention to detail, his dedication and commitment to a great work ethic. Uh, and I promoted him about two years ago to be Assistant Deputy Chief overseeing our Division of Training. You can tell he exudes uh, the San Francisco Fire Department in, in how he acts and how he treats the people that he works with, his staff, uh, and the new generation of firefighters and has spent a lot of time working uh, and volunteering with the Cancer Prevention Foundation for education, awareness, and for some fundraising as well. He's very good at fundraising. Locally, most of the St. Ignatius alums are aware of the Janet Pomeroy Center. It's located right down the street. Jeff was always very involved in the uh, development and management of those fundraisers, whether it was a golf tournament or a dance or a party to funnel funds to the Pomeroy Center. His love and dedication to the Pomeroy Center is second to none. Treat people how you want to be treated, I, that, that's kind of my thing. Uh, you know, in, in the fire department, most of our calls were, were dealing with the very needy of our, of our community, people that, that don't have too much, and uh, it's easy to look at them 
in a certain way and never really want that to happen. I mean, it's somebody's mom, somebody's dad, and just treat them like you want to be treated and, and everything seems to work out well from there. So it's kind of what I live by. I think his legacy is being involved, getting involved, being there for others. I think that's the legacy of Jeff Colombini, is making sure that you're going the extra mile, not only for your family, but for your friends, and even people you don't know, which he's done through the fire department. Jeff Colombini is uh, one of my best friends and is one of the most uh, hardworking, dedicated, uh, professional men uh, that I have ever been associated with. Jeff Colombini is gracious. Jeff is generous right behind that. Jeff is thorough. All of those things add up to somebody who people like to be around. Jeff Colombini is a great Ignatian. He is hardworking, honest, principled, and loyal. And on top of that, Jeff is a lot of uh, fun. It, it was an honor serving with him. Jeff Colombini is a great friend to so many people on the job, off the job and uh, he's a great firefighter. Jeff, my sincere congratulations for being this year's recipient of the Christ the King Award. Uh, the award is, is well deserved and I know that you'll march on for the decades ahead and continue to do what you can for the school and most importantly being of service to others. I wish you health and happiness for many years so you can carry on with that mission. You know, I think I want to be remembered as a, as a good husband, a good dad, uh, a good friend. I'm very proud of the things we've done in the fire department. It was a, a, a huge group effort, so I definitely want that to be remembered.